Hello, in this section I'm going to uh, show you how we can add in a uh, VTR control uh, function into a scene mode that would allow the presenter to control the playback of a professional uh, VTR or a uh, slow-mo device. Um, so first of all let's um, open up a scene and wait for that to load up. So now that this scene has loaded up in edit mode, you can see that I don't have a VTR button in here. So I can go to tools and click on VTR control and this adds a VTR control button into the toolbar. So now we need to set that up. Um, so of course with this uh, to be used with a touch screen and a VTR, uh, you will need to make sure that you have at least two RS-232 ports um, on your computer set up. Um, so we'll click that open and uh, as you can see um, you will now have to choose whichever comms port uh, your VTR is to be connected to. Um, I've only got one uh, COM port on this particular setup so I'm just going to use that and um, uh, once we've selected that we can then click on to it uh, of course I don't have a VTR connected which is why we're getting this error coming up um, but um, now uh, you can see the actual control panel that uh, the presenter would have um, if you're using a professional RS422 uh, VTR deck or slow-mo machine uh, then you also need to refer to the um, uh, user um, PDF that explains how to make up an RS-232 to an RS-422 uh, control cable which has some special wiring methods and um, currently the VTR control panel supports and controls um, external video tape decks um, that um, can be controlled using the Sony BVW-75 simple protocol. Um, so once again, uh, once we've uh, added the control panel into the scene, you need to choose which position uh, you prefer to have that panel open up in, um, because uh, when you're in load scene mode, uh, you can't move the position of this control panel. It will always open up in the position that it's been set to. Um, so now that we have that controlled over there, and uh, the other thing to also notice is, is that uh, we have a, an LED indicator light here so that uh, when you do have uh, a VTR um, connected to the system, uh, you should see that um, VTR LED light up to tell you that the connection is active and then you can use any of the control buttons to control the VTR. So okay, so let's uh, close that and save that. So I'm going to save that into my scene one, save it, and then when you come to use it during a show, you just click on load scene, and we'll open up the same scene. And now that you see you've got a VTR control, you can add it. Of course, if the comms isn't there, then you'll pick up the error message. But now you've got the uh, VTR control panel opening up in the position that we set it to.